in my spare time, I go out to my yard and I and I prance around and I and I eat grass. And I, and I just watch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. I'm just gonna go. I might just tell you a threat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been slightly over a week since I uploaded last. I know, I try to never go that long without uploading, but lately my mental health has said, bye bitch, <laughs> but it's rolling back in and I'm feeling better, so let's go. Oh, and super briefly, you guys know that through the month of May, we've been doing no strings attached cash giveaways on my Instagram. Every picture I've been posting on my Instagram through the month of May, I've been giving cash to people who comment and let me know that they've been affected by the current economic crisis. Um, again, no strings attached. Just letting you know we're at the end of the month and we do have one more before the month ends and you can expect that in a couple days. But moving on. I kind of can't believe that I've never done a video on this topic before as someone who's probably done a video on every single trans related topic under the sun on my channel, but there is still a stone left to be turned over and that is trans species, AKA other kin, AKA a deep dark internet hole that I kind of wish I hadn't fallen into. The things I do for you guys. So trans species, otherwise known as other kin, it's people who identify legitimately, unironically, as animals. It's often conflated with transgenderism, which is annoying. And I've never touched on this topic really because I kind of always thought it was a joke or ironic in some way. I thought it was similar to being a furry where to my knowledge, you know, I don't know the inner workings of the furry universe, but to my knowledge, they don't legitimately think that they are animals. They dress up as that for hobbies or for, you know, their kicks or whatever, which, you know, no judgment as long as you're not doing anything to hurt anyone. Rock on, furries. I don't get it, but it's no shade. Actually identifying as an animal, however, that is some other <laughs> A woman in Norway believes she belongs to a different breed. She claims that she is a cat trapped in a human's body. And it's kind of one of those things that people tend to use as ammunition against the concept of being transgender by saying, oh, you identify as a woman, I identify as an anteater. Checkmate, girl. So today we're gonna take a deeper look into trans species. That sounded ridiculous. First up is a trans girl, trans deer, who currently has the entire internet very angry at her and we'll get into exactly why. This is some weird ass <laughs> This is apparently a deergasm. But that's how they put it. What in the? Thank you. I need Jesus. In my spare time, I go out to my yard and I and I prance around and I and I eat grass. And I, and I just watch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. Dear self. <laughs> that is some other <laughs> So here's why everyone's mad. This person, Steph, was apparently hired on at Twitch as part of the Safety Advisory Council. So she's basically now a moderator of sorts at Twitch, which I hear it's very strict there in general. And now she's swinging her power around, acting really, really weird like this. And uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, there there are some people that should be afraid of me because I, I represent moderation and diversity and I'm gonna come for hurtful, harmful people. If you're a really shitty person, I'm gonna stand up against you, period. And uh, Twitch is endorsing me to do that, so. Now, I don't know how Twitch works. Everyone tells me to get Twitch. Let me know if I should get Twitch. I feel like I have everything. I have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Like, there's just too much already. But regardless, I would not feel comfortable with my account and in some cases livelihood of a lot of these creators on Twitch being in the hands of someone like this who is clearly frothing at the mouth to abuse her power. That's really messed up. This type of taunting is really a bad thing to do and really looks bad on not only Twitch's brand, but it makes Steph look bad by doing this. You're taunting saying like, look at all the power that I have, blah, 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 blah. 
I have all this power, I can make these decisions, and if I want to put somebody under my thumb, they're going to be put under my thumb. This is kind of like a tyrannical response. I think that the, the, the right thing probably for ferociously stuff to do would be to resign. Gross. So this person's Twitter reads, adorably ferocious trans deer girl. Trans deer girl. She, her. Yeah, wouldn't trust that person with my livelihood. That's scary. So let's take a look at some other other kin. This is from Anthony Padilla's channel. I consider myself a British Columbia wolf and red fox therian. So yes. that's, that's different than other kin or is it in the same realm? So other kin is more of an umbrella term. So other kin refers to people who identify in some way as non-human. Therian is a more specific term referring to animals that are living or were once living on this earth. Basically, if it really Can exists- Can someone tell me if this is a fetish? I need to know if this is a fetish. So what does being other kin entail? You identify usually spiritually or psychologically or both. I've, I've seen cases where it's been neither, but you have this deep identification as something that is not human. Okay, so <laughs> my whole thing is, if whatever you're doing in life isn't harming other people or yourself, I don't have an issue with it. My issue comes with, like I said, how this is conflated with being transgender, which I feel like is a highly different thing. Why hasn't Trisha come out as this yet? There's like a whole untapped market, girl. Uh, here's something I might do when I'm out there as far as a howl. Sure. How'd you feel when doing that? <laughs> Good. He said, whoa. I'm just gonna go. I might just tell you a threat. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of feel like, you know, I don't want to like beat up on these people or like really, really go in on them because I feel like this is probably some sort of just like, I, I would imagine these people have some sort of like deeper issues and we all have issues, right? Their issues are just different. I just personally, I don't like how all this stuff is called trans species, trans racial, trans all this stuff because it really does muddy the waters of what transgender is and what transsexuals are. You know, my only beef is when they say that it's comparable to being transgender or when people use this against transgender people because it's not even apples and oranges. It's like apples and a falafel or something. You know, being a transsexual is something that I feel like entails a very real medical condition, which is gender dysphoria. It's something that I feel like can be done to where you are existing harmoniously with those around you, because obviously I am biologically male and I am a transsexual, but in the general society in the world, I'm just some chick. So it's a little different, I think, in the sense that like, you can't just be a deer and just roll up on someone and start eating their grass. You know what I mean? And that was why I was a little freaked about the trans deer girl specifically getting so much attention because I felt like a lot of people on Twitter were trying to say there goes trans people being crazy again and here it's always it's always that right but like I do think the trans deer girl is crazy but I I don't think it's because she's trans I think it's because she thinks she's a deer right period that and like the super sadistic desire to abuse guidelines and rules to hurt people that's another thing too pow 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 Get him, Muds. Rawr on him. Chomp him. Go full, full lion. Just, just, just. <sighs> you better watch out. Because I'm pretty cool. And you can't get rid of me. Twitch is endorsing me. Now with that being said, I really hope you love this video. Please subscribe if you have not. I know you've watched four or five videos previously. And I know you're gonna keep watching. I know you're curious. Okay. Join the family. I don't have friends. I need subscribers. It's kind of sad, actually. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, and now my TikTok. I post way more on there, and you gotta follow those to keep up with more. And I love you guys so, so, so much. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, stay safe, and I don't know. Bye.